Hi, my name is Sal, and in this video I'll show you how to make a website. And it won't be just a website, but a professional looking website built on the same technology as those of CNN, eBay, Sony and the New York Times. And what I like most about it is that it's incredibly simple. Because as you will see in this video, building a professional looking website really requires no skills. And if you think that's too good to be true, just watch yourself. Here is a glimpse of what you can make when you've seen the full video. So this is what we will be making together in the following and we will do that step by step. Now additionally the website will be mobile responsive which means that it will look good both from your desktop computer, iPad, iPhone or actually any other device because the look of the website will simply adjust to the screen size and you will see just how easy all this will be. So having said that we can just get started and let me start by describing the process of building a website. This basically consists of four steps, registering a domain name, creating a web host account, installing WordPress and of course designing your website. Now I will go through each of them and also discuss perhaps the most important question, what does it cost? A domain name is a www.something.com and a .com domain name costs around the $15 a year. It could be slightly more, slightly less depending on where you register, but the bottom line is that this shouldn't really be a showstopper. A web host is basically where you store your website. And you should be careful when choosing your web host provider as this determines for example the speed of your website, the availability of your website and also very important it determines if and how easily you can install WordPress on your website and I will explain in the next point why that is so important. So there is no way around a web host and this is perhaps the most important but also the most expensive part of your website as it costs around the $8 a month but notice that the commitment that you typically have to make can be for multiple years. Now there are a lot of web host providers out there with varying prices, qualities and terms so you might want to carefully choose one and perhaps also want to read the small letters. But of course I will share with you my experiences and we will be using in this video one of the best and one of the cheapest web hosts there is so there will be no worries here. But I will come to that after I shortly describe steps 3 and 4. So WordPress is the tool with which we are going to build our website. And the good thing about WordPress is that it is so user friendly you don't need to have any programming skills to build a professional website with it. Also you can use WordPress for any type of website be it a blog, a news magazine, a photo gallery or even an online store just name it. And for these reasons a lot of big companies have a WordPress website so it's pretty nice that we are going to use the same tool as they do. But perhaps the best thing of it is that it's entirely free and with the web host provider we will be using the installation of it will be just a matter of a few clicks so we don't need to worry about this step. Now the last step is designing your website but once you have installed WordPress this part will be very easy as you will see and there will be no additional cost here. So moving back to the web host provider, in this tutorial we are going to use the web hosting hub and I put a link below in this video description so you can check it out yourself. The web hosting hub is one of the cheapest out there, an account costs around the $499 a month which you can use for as many domain names as you wish and as a nice bonus you get a domain name for free in the first year. But the main reason I am using it myself for all of my websites is because they are of very high quality and also the installation of WordPress is very easy. 
Now, because they are so good, they offer a 90 day money back guarantee with no questions asked. And because of this, you don't need to worry about the long term commitments that you typically have to make when creating a web host account. You can instead just try it out risk free. Okay, enough talking, so let's just start building our website by following these four steps. And we begin by clicking on the link below in the video description uh, to register a domain name and create a web hosting account. And that link brings us directly to this page. Let's click here and on get started. And here we can check if the domain name we have in mind is still available. So for this tutorial we will purchase the somewhat silly domain name great2awesome.com And as you can see it is still available. I just quickly uncheck this paid service here. And then we continue to the purchase form. Now this is a standard form that you need to fill in to confirm your purchase. Also here I just uncheck the unnecessary paid services. So at the bottom of the page you can choose your plan. As you can see there are varying plans with varying prices and periods. And for this tutorial I will be using the Spark 36 months plan. Because that is the cheapest on a monthly basis and it contains all the necessary things that we need. And I personally don't really worry about the 36 months commitment because of the 90 day money back guarantee. So it is basically risk free and still the cheapest option. But anyhow, regardless of the plan you choose, the next steps will be the same, so don't worry about it. Now, I'm just going to pause the video, so I don't need to share my credit card information and stuff while I fill in the form. But then we will continue with the next steps. So, once you have filled in the form, you are now the owner of a domain name. And that is just how easy it is. When we now move to our email account, we notice that we have received several emails from the web hosting hub confirming the subscription and congratulating us with our domain name. Now the next step is to install WordPress on our domain name and for that we need to click on the email that welcomes us to the web hosting hub. Eventually we can install WordPress from our so-called control panel or cPanel. And for that we need to log in to our so-called account management panel. Now as you will see this sounds more cumbersome than it really is because these steps are very easy with the web hosting hub, especially compared to other web hosts. So let's just follow the instructions and click here. We can log in here with our email address and password, but because you are here for the first time you still need to create a password for your account. And as the black text suggests, you can create that password by clicking on this link. Just give your domain name, in my case that would be www.great2awesome.com and give your email address here and then you simply receive a password in your email account and then that you obviously can use to log in. Now I already have a password because I have all my domain names here under this account so I will just go back and log in directly. And now we are in our account management panel. Now you might get a bit intimidated by all these icons here, but the good thing is that we only need to be here to install WordPress. And once we have installed WordPress, we might never be here anymore again. So if we just simply click on this cPanel icon, then we get to our cPanel. Just go to top applications here and click on WordPress. Install. And make sure you have the right domain name here. As you most likely have just one domain name right now, it is already automatically selected for you. Now these you can just leave as is. Also the site settings, you might want to fill this in, but you can also edit them later, so no worries here. The only thing that is relevant for now is the admin account. Now we can forget about the account we made earlier, but the WordPress account is the one that you should remember, as this is what you will be using to log into your website in the future. Now as username I simply take admin and let's make up a silly password. And here I um, want to take my own email address. And that is it. We now can just install WordPress. And as I promised to you earlier it is this easy to install WordPress on your website. So 
So now that the installation is complete, we need to log into our website. It might be useful to remember that the way to do that is to go to your domain name forward slash wp admin like you see here and then we simply use the account details we just created so in my case that is admin and my password and that brings us to the back end of our website from where we can design our website now as you will see this interface is very user friendly although it might not be so obvious when you log in here for the first time. I could obviously explain each of the items in the navigation menu but I think it is more efficient if we just learn by doing. So that is what we will be doing here in this video. Let me just quickly show you how to change some general site settings to get started. So go to settings, general. And here you can give your website a name or change any other basic website setting. But I will just leave it as is for the sake of this tutorial. Now next it is time to install a good looking theme on our website. And a theme is just a fancy WordPress word for the layout of your website. And the good thing of WordPress is that it offers thousands of free themes that you can change and design as you wish. And to install a theme we go to appearance, themes add new and for this tutorial we will install one of the more popular themes in WordPress called responsive and that is this one and we simply install it and then we activate it and now that the theme is installed let's just check out our website now you can obviously check out your website by typing in the URL in your browser but you can also simply click here on visit website. And here it is. Now the reason I like this theme is because it is clean and simple and as the name suggests it is also mobile responsive so you can check it out by visiting your website with a mobile device or perhaps more simply just by changing the width of the window and observing how the layout changes. The dummy text and logo that you see uh, can obviously be changed and a lot of nice extensions can be added and we will do that of course also in the full version of this video. But as this is the short version of the video we will end it here. If you would like to also learn some easy but powerful tricks on designing your website just continue watching the full version it will be very fun I can say. Now I hope I managed to show you how easy it is to just get started. And in case you found this useful, I would be very grateful if you would like or share this video because that would really help my ambitions to reach all those people that would like to create a website but just have no clue how to get started. So I really hope you can make that effort for me but anyhow thanks a lot for watching and good luck with your website.